Hi guys, this is AC Gamer back with another video. Now, in today's video, we are going to be making a very, very important video for those who want to reroll for Artery Gear Fusion. Now, Artery Gear Fusion will be coming out in a couple of hours, so I thought it would be best for me to release this video early on so that you guys know which um, characters you guys want to reroll for. Now, with Artery Gears, you're not only rerolling for SSR units or 5 star units, you're also rerolling for low rarity characters, but they are absolutely amazing and must have characters for your re-rolling now this is going to be very important so make sure you like this video subscribe stay tuned for more content on r3 gear fusion if you guys don't want to miss out on future r3 gear fusion content make sure that post notification is on so click that bell icon also if you find this video enjoyable and overall helpful make sure you click the like button it helps out with the algorithm and it also helps other people find this video once again a lot of people are going to be trying to re-roll for r3 gear fusion and they definitely need to know which characters they want to re-roll for so this video is going to be very very helpful anyways let's get right into it currently i am in this amazing website which goes over all the information you guys need to know for r3 gear fusion so i will be linking this down in the comment section or in the description of this video so that you guys can go ahead and take a, a take a better look at the characters i will be talking about once again this is an amazing website now this is one of the five star units that you guys are going to be re-rolling for so her name is Sirius and she is a single target damage dealer now let's go ahead and take a look at her skills as well she looks absolutely amazing Sirius is a five star character uh green um what's called green type unit she has a ss rating for pve and an ss rating for pvp like i said she's mainly a single target character uh, so she inflicts damage on single enemy and increases damage by a certain percentage per one point of speed when you have a speed buff it causes defense down to the target for two rounds okay so you all know in every single game every character or any character that does defense down it's always going to be that character you guys want to reroll for because at the end of the day you're going to be dealing so much damage with a defense down character so this is why she is going to be very very important that defense down is going to be absolutely insane don't forget this is a basic attack as well um so yeah by leveling up the skill you basically increase um, the damage by five percent then ten percent so very very solid attack now moving on to this other active skill that she has now this has a three ton cooldown it also is a single target um, attack and it increases damage based on a certain percentage per one point of speed grants herself a speed buff for two rounds if you trigger a crit uh, critical strike you can grant an extra turn now this is going to be very very important you want to use this skill first then move over to the basic attack because she has the uh, speed buff over here move over to the basic attack uh, with the speed buff she will be doing that defense down and she can also do an extra turn as well so if she crits so obviously trying to try to increase that crit so that she can actually get that extra turn as well so that is a very very amazing level up the skill will basically just increase the damage now moving on to her last skill which also has a free turn cooldown once again is a single target skill increase damage by a certain percentage per one point of speed at the same time this attack will be judged based on the attributes of restraining the target when you kill the target extends all your buff for one turn or one round sorry so absolutely insane skill as well um if you level it up this skill as well you get a reduced cooldown by one turn which is going to be absolutely important um when you want to deal extra damage Cirrus is a very easy unit to use as long as you know what time skill you want to use first so you want to start off using her skill too so that you get yourself that basic oh sorry so that you could get that speed buff and then you want to use the skill free as well and then you can then use your basic attack because you get yourself a 100 percent chance of getting defense down so this is one of the main uh, five star units you guys are going to be re-rolling for i definitely will be re-rolling for this unit now let's move over to the second character you guys want to re-roll for the second five star character you guys want to re-roll for is ginga now she is actually very very good in pve however there's one issue with her being that she is not going to be that useful in pvp so if your sony wants to focus on pvp maybe there's another five star characters that you guys want to re-roll for but i will be re-rolling for this character because she's going to be one of that units that you guys use early on now she's going to be fantastic early on to mid game however late game she's going to fall off and she's also going to be very useful for one of the boss stages that is going to be available where you're going to spend most of your stamina in let's go ahead and take a look at her skills now Gengar is a blue type character and she's a five star 
um so she does a single target attack and she has a 35 percent chance of causing two shock now right now i'm not really too sure what shock is i do have some type of idea maybe it's a stun type of ability or maybe it's some type of um, status elements that you give to the enemy but i'm pretty sure with getting that shock on that enemy it's going to be very very important for her dealing extra damage by leveling up this skill you basically increase your damage increase um, shock chance by further five percent and then a further ten percent so you increase that from 35 all the way to about 50 percent i think if i did the maths right now moving on to the second skill she attacks a single target and has a 85 percent chance of causing shock for two rounds if the target has shock after the attack um blooming silver moon will be used additionally uh, when an additional attack is added the chance of triggering shock is increased to 100% moving on to her last skill which has a very high cooldown 5 turn cooldown performs a powerful attack uh, it's also single targets and for every debuff um, the target has it also increases the damage by 20% so I'm pretty sure yeah the shock ability is definitely a debuff skill uh, so you def definitely want to stack up that shock on the enemy um, and then she can do insane amount of damage with this specific skill so i'm pretty sure you want to prioritize using the first skill last as long as you have multiple um, shocks on the enemy or multiple debuffs on that enemy and then you can increase the damage by 20 percent each one which is absolutely insane this is definitely going to be the main damage dealing skill that she has the next character i'm going to be talking about is going to be alice now alice is not a five star character she is a four star but there are several four star characters in this game that you definitely want to get now there is also another four star character that's absolutely top tier but you don't have to reroll for her because you get her on the second day login so you don't have to stress out about, about that unit but i will talk about that later on in a video where i talk about the top 10 or top 5 um, best character in the game so stay tuned for that Alice is a unit that you can get in the near future as well because she is going to be a part of a selector for four star characters that you can go ahead and pick however it is going to be very nice to have her early on so that's why I would recommend you guys re-rolling for Alice. Alice is a unit that basically gives you extra turn now let's take a look at what she is. She is a blue type character and she is rated SS to PvE and SS in PvP. Now as you can see with a basic attack, inflicts damage and advance uh, one random ally action by by 15% quite nice um, but that's not the main skill that you want to focus on now moving on to her second skill which has a four, four turn cooldown uh, raises the wand high to make a single target other than herself gain extra turn now very very nice skill over here and attack buff for two rounds and advance your own action bar by 20 percent that extra turn is going to be making sure that you guys deal extra damage with that one specific character if you level up the skill you basically increase your action bar and reduce the cooldown by one turn which is going to be a very very important because she has that four turn cooldown which is kind of long but if you get that all the way to level three no level two you get that reduced to three turns which is definitely then going to be very very nice now moving on to her last skill which is a five turn cooldown once again it's very very long inflicts damage to all um, targets so nice aoe and has a 75 percent chance to cause slow to all targets for two rounds now this is going to be also very good in pvp um, because we did talk about one specific unit at the start which was serious he deals amazing amount of damage um single target damage however if you use this character in pvp uh, causes slow to all target you basically can reduce the speed of serious so very very nice in pvp in my opinion moving on to further five star characters that you guys want to reroll for we have shura now shura is going to be on her own banner um, i'm pretty sure it's like a limited or event banner where you can summon and reroll for her uh, so yeah she's going to be absolutely amazing character to have now the first three units i talked about in this video are going to be the ones you want to mainly focus on but ashura is also going to be a very very good character to reroll for now she has an s tier rating for pve and an s, uh, s tier rating for pvp as well shura is a bruiser type character that is going to be very useful early on now she can deal very good amount of um, single target attack she has a special skill that can transform her into a special mode if she uses her skill 2 she is now able to cause a uh, defense resist basically ignoring the defense of the targets meaning that she can deal extra damage she can debuff enemies as well and overall gonna be a solid character to get she is gonna fall off later on uh, but she is a unit that gets better when unique equipment or exclusive equipment does get added to the game so she is gonna be a solid character to get right now 
uh, yeah you can reroll for her i personally will be rerolling for her because i really love blade characters so the reroll units i personally want to go for is serious obviously the four star units i talked about as well as um this unit shura as a um, damage dealer i just love blade type units or like samurai type another five star unit that you guys can reroll for is going to be this unit over here i'm pretty sure she also gets her own banner early on now this is milvers he is a five star red type unit as well now let's take a look at her rating now she has a pve rating of uh s tier and she also has an a tier for pvp rating now out of all the characters i spoke about in this video she is the least um what's called least rated character however as you can see st is still absolutely amazing it is also absolutely amazing she's still going to be a fantastic character to use melvis is mainly a aoe type unit which makes it a lot better to use her for farming obviously if there's multiple enemies using aoe attack is going to be very very good however she is a unit that is going to be very hard to work on in terms of her gear and you definitely need to invest in her to make her absolutely amazing um, but yeah that aoe attack for pve farming is going to be very very useful and that's why she is included in this video so that is all the units i would recommend you guys to reroll for it's been your boy ac gamer and i'm out was it the voice was it the fire burning in me all of the noise turned into choirs of harmony